did you get connected to Union, even though you know you're not technically on the QUT campus? Um, well, I actually came through Union, came to Union halfway through my first year at Uni, and I came through about it about other students who went to colleges, and then I chose to go to Union because I knew they accepted. Um, students who went to QUT and Griffith and UQ. And can you describe some of the additional um, academic support that you've received via the RM program or resident mentor program or the tutorial program? Coming in halfway through, I actually had to spend a lot of time with my RM who introduced me to the tutorial program through UQ, which came to us about through our resident tutor. And they also offered um, help with students who went to other, um, other unis um, with different subjects to UQ subjects. So that involved maybe getting a tutor outside of Union College, which was really helpful, and having someone for that specific subject, even though it wasn't a UQ subject. So it wasn't just that you, you could live here even though you went to QUT, it was actually that the full scope of all the, everything Union has to offer is available to everybody here. Exactly, all the benefits were just like really helpful and all that. And in, even though being further away from um, campus, it was still worth it. And you're not, there's really no commute to speak of, is there? No, not really. We live so close to the buses, so we can catch like one bus and we're by campus in the city. So. What do you enjoy most about residing at Union College? Probably the people. I love the social aspect of it. I think that was the main thing of why I wanted to come to college. It was because I wanted to be around people constantly. I wanted to be within a, a community and environment that was helpful and positive and I just felt like Union was that and it was a bit of the real world since we're a mixed co-ed college so you weren't limiting yourself to one gender or the other so it was just the perfect environment. Being from the sunny coast was there ever a temptation you just I'll oh, just live up there and I'll, I'll you know commute? Uh, no, since I always wanted to branch out of like where I was from. The commute's not, not too bad, but it would be way easier living on campus and having the extra support here, where I would have to travel an hour and a half to get to uni, spend the whole day at uni, and then um, travel back late at night. Um, this was just a safer option, and it was just a better option for like a better social aspect of life. And even though I'm giving up the beach and everything like that, the city's so much fun, so. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah, even though it's you're from the sunny coast, which isn't far away, it, it is kind of like a different world, the beach exactly. versus the city kind of thing. Exactly. It's definitely a better experience. Like, I've created so many more connections from living at Union College, um, people from all over. So, like, most like international students as well here, um, even people from far north, Queensland, Melbourne, everywhere. So, it's like better connections, you make friends like literally all over the country but also all over the world so it's amazing. So have you experienced any other type of um, accommodation and if so how does that compare to, to Union? Yes, so uh, the first six months of Uni I experienced living in student accommodation where it was an apartment sort of living with four other people that I didn't know and while I've made great friends through that, um, Union College had bigger support options for Uni um, when you know you're unsure in those first that first year of uni, there was more support for tutoring programs, everything like that, and there was more social aspect to get to know, not even not just the people in your college, but also people in other colleges and stuff like that. It's a lot more fun, and I feel the constant support, even just mental support, yeah, is a lot better than where I was before.